Family and friends come together to honor a local young man taken too soon. KPVI News that works for you journalist Julian Paras has the story. He was my youngest, Mason. He was 18. His birthday's August 18th. He would have been 19 next month. Mason Romanelli was just a kid hanging out with his friends in Grace, Idaho. His body was recovered from the Last Chance Canal after drowning. He passed away a couple weeks ago, but many friends of Romanelli had an idea. We decided we should probably do something to help his family out. And so they created a memorial event for their lost friend. Local bands performed and shirts were sold where the proceeds would go to the Romanelli family for future funeral service expenses. He was always supportive of all his friends. He was always there for you even if other people felt like you didn't deserve it. He always had your back on anything. Hoffman came up with the original idea to put together this event. Many others wanted to lend a hand however they could. I told him anything I can do, you know, I might not be able to do much, but if I can play the bass for you, I'll play the bass for you. Stephen Saxton, although not related to Mason, saw him as a brother and paid tribute to somebody who was gone, but not forgotten. Honestly, it was probably the hardest part about all this. It was rough. The tattooist, he did real good. He kept me distracted. He kept me happy. Uh, he wasn't really into tattoos, but I'm glad that I can have him immortalized as my first tattoo. And as you can see behind me, dozens of people, whether they be friends, family members, or people in the music community, have showed up in support, not only to support the local musicians performing, but also to honor the memory of Mason Romanelli. It warms my heart to know how much the community supports my son, his friends, to do something like this. Like, this is totally awesome. In Pocatello, I'm Julian Paras, KPVI News that works for you. And if you would like to donate, a link to the family's GoFundMe page will be posted on our website at kpvi.com.